right welcome back to the channel so i did an intro a couple minutes ago but uh thought about what i said and i'm not going to use that one i'm going to use this one so we got a post on our uh off-road rescue group that uh somebody stuck up in the bush and in the process of being stuck he ended up breaking his truck so it is a tacoma i'm not sure on the year of it uh to me it looks about a 2016 2017 i'm not entirely sure i'm not a big time toyota guy so i don't know the years all that well but uh we're gonna head up there and uh basically drag him down the mountain to the main road where he will then be able to get um a regular tow truck no tow truck is gonna go up there and if they do you are paying dearly so we're gonna go drag him down i think it's about 20 kilometers in the bush i'm not exactly sure i've never actually turned the uh tripometer on clocked the odometer whatever you want to call it i normally just drive it so we're gonna go and we're gonna get them out and we'll see i'm a little bit concerned because it's super warm right now which means uh, a lot of the snow is going to be melting but uh in the evening it turns to ice up there so i kind of want to get up there quick and drag them down absolutely as quick as we can looking at the pictures he posted i'll post them up in here it doesn't look like there's recovery points but i only glanced at them for a second so if there is recovery points great if not uh we're gonna have to improvise i've got most everything i'm gonna need anyways so and uh i don't even think i'm gonna air down to be honest i think i'm just gonna uh rip up to the top and go as far as i can without airing down and hopefully hopefully be able to get in and out before the sun sets but only time's gonna tell i may i may when i get up there i may air down just to make it that much better but only time will tell we'll figure it out when we get there so until then i'm gonna uh put you on the uh, front facing camera and we'll touch base when we're there i don't know if you guys can see that mountain off to the um top right that's actually where we're going and you can see the snow line up there we're not going all the way to the top i'd say it's about three quarters of the way up i think if i can remember correctly but um We'll get up there we'll get them out but you can see it's already it's already kind of getting a little dark which concerns me but what can you do man you can't leave a guy stuck so we're gonna get them out all right so we're just pulling up to our uh, main trailhead access road i guess actually you want to call it would be the proper term i'm going to uh head a little ways up and see how rough it is and then I'll decide if I'm gonna air down down here or when I encounter the snow. But uh, in the meantime, oh my gosh, have I ever got quite the exhaust leak. I, um, I suspected last weekend when we were out that uh, exhaust manifold bolt let loose on me. Clearly heavy life, right? So it did, I can hear it. I imagine you guys can probably hear it as well. So I guess I'll be doing some headers on this thing in the near future. So. Yeah, let's, uh, I don't think I'm going to record too much of this road because it's, to be honest, it's kind of a boring, just a gravel road. So sit tight and we'll, uh, we'll touch base when we get to the main crossroads of where we're heading. I just had to switch into uh, four-wheel drive. I did air down at the bottom. I think we're almost to the T in the road. Um, and then it's a couple kilometers down to the left. So, we'll go. ooh, there's a big bump. Yikes. I believe this is our road. If I'm not mistaken. All right, just checking our... Uh, 
coordinates here. Come on, phone. So apparently, we are 13.6, 13 minutes out, 6.3 kilometers. So you can see that's where we are. I hope it, I hope it zooms in on that. So let's just head down and see if we can see them. I'm not seeing anybody yet. According to my GPS, they were somewhere right about here. Let me just check this GPS one more time here. No, maybe a little bit, uh, about another two kilometers it looks like. We'll keep motoring on in. It's not all that bad, it is soft. And it, it is gonna freeze tonight, so that'll help us on the way out. But uh, it's not too bad on the way in. So. And I, I've come up here in the summertime uh, quite a few times, so I know the area. I know I'm not gonna run into any extreme terrain or anything. So. And I've got 3,000 people that know exactly where I was heading, so that helps. The one thing that scares me though is the heavy trucks just, they don't do all that well in the snow. So if it gets, woo, like that. See, she gets, uh, she tends to sink quite a bit. But uh, we're only in four, four high, no lockers or nothing, so. Look at the view, look at this. This is so beautiful. This must be our guy here. It's perfect. How's it going? Good, Jeremy. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You too, man. How far up are you? So, it's just up there. There will be the turn off to the boulder fields and then I'm just down a bit. But oh, okay. So, yeah. how bad did the fan break? So, like, the clutch fan assembly snapped oh and then it threw the belt and it like hit my coolant overflow oh so it broke more and, than that yeah the radiator looks are you just gonna grab to parts it. and fix it tomorrow no, or? i'm gonna bring it to the dealership because oh, it's, yeah? it's new and i'm still under warranty so i don't want to don't mess around oh, yeah yeah, yeah. You, were you by yourself unless you can clear it it's fine. I'll just leave no it you can grab it. it if you want it's up to you no i'll just leave it get leave it back. okay we're coming back yeah. this way. Yeah, I was going down here because I was trying to do something for my geography project. See, because I knew about the Boulder Fields, my friends would climb up here. Yep. I was like, I've never driven. I've only driven on here. Didn't ever duck down. Went down, yeah. In the yeah. summertime or springtime. Yeah. Down there gets pretty gnarly. Yeah. I yeah. Imagine. I've never been this far and in the winter time. Going pretty good, and then just on one corner, I just kind of was, it was sucking me into the inside of the corner. You're down here, right? Yeah. So let's go walk down. Yeah. I want to just look at it. All right, after quite the walk, he's quite a ways down there. 
I'm having my doubts that uh, I'm gonna be even able to get down there, but I'm gonna try. So, wish us luck here. My worry is the snow is extremely soft. And uh, once you break through that crust, it's all over, especially in a heavy truck. But I do have lots of winch line, lots of straps. We'll give it our best go, I guess. So far, so good. This is where I'm gonna know if we start sinking here. tracks here. No, they don't look too bad. Yep, we're going four low. Front and rear lockers. We're already start it's already starting to uh suck me over. So Come on, lockers, go. My locker's not engaging. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. We got no front locker. Great. There we go. We got front and rear locker now. No, my uh, stupid locker wasn't engaging. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know what was going on. Had to shut it off and yeah. try to get it to reset. It went this time. Yeah. Oh, there goes the breakthrough. Oh boy. <laughs> you can just feel it like, yeah. once I spin, that's it, it's all over. We went yeah. up Postal yeah. uh, two weekends ago. Yeah. Dude, it was like, Every couple minutes, I'd be like, whoop, start yeah. skating off to the side. Yep. I don't like that feeling. I don't either. We go Paso a lot. Yeah. We go up there to have fires a bunch. Yeah, it's such an awesome area, right? Yeah, we love it. And then in the summer, <laughs> we, we would go to the little mud bog up there. And I put that thing through. Oh, nice. One time there was about, the water was just above my door line. And I was got out to like hook up ropes and everything. I get back in, there's like four inches of water, and I was like, oh. like yelling at my friend to like come pull me out. No, like I kind of want to just winch you right yeah, there. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, guys, we made it. We didn't sink. Okay, not gonna lie, I did sink a little bit, but uh, this is the mess we've got here. So he's got himself in quite the predicament. <laughs> Tow the power, right? That's what my buddy says. <laughs> so. Yeah, so you can see the whole clutch fan thing right here. Kind of oh, snapped dang. off. Then the fan broke that there. Did maybe. it shred your rad too? Yeah, if you bring it around, you can kind of see the radiators kind of fucked. Dang. Yeah. 
Well, guys, let's uh, let's give it our best and uh, not get stuck. You rocking KO2s? Yep. Nice. Okay. Well, let's go. We got the truck on the the truck on the camera. The camera on the truck. We'll uh, start winching them up, and then I'm gonna turn around up here and hopefully pull him up the rest of the way. So we'll see. All right, guys. So we winched them out. We got them out. We're gonna uh, yank strap yank strap him the rest of the way out. Uh, that was a hassle. It's uh, been two hours, two and a half hours, so let's keep trucking here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was absolutely the least fun recovery I've ever done. So it, uh, that was crazy. I mean, thank God I had the uh, yank strap here to at least alleviate some of the pressure, but that was every five seconds it, the Toyota was just sinking down to the bottom. And thank God I have front and rear lockers, otherwise, we would have been having a different conversation now, but uh, yeah, power wagon did sick, guys. So, yep, the uh, dirt tracks doing their job, lockers doing their job, and I didn't turn the freaking camera on. Are you kidding me? But uh, nonetheless, we got them out. I'm going to, uh, I think I'll set you guys up on my mirror and we'll uh, capture some shots on the way out. So, yeah. As you seen, we made it back to the, I don't want to call it a main road, but kind of is a main road and there's his stuff there we're just gonna stop there load that into his truck and then we'll uh, continue on our way so I'm just gonna stop a little bit before it right here As you see in there, we had a uh, stick wedge between his control arm and his drive shaft. So we wanted to get that out of there before something nasty happened. So all in all, it wasn't that bad. I mean, yes, I'm out of breath, I'm out of shape. <laughs> it was extremely deep down there, as you've seen. I mean, there was at least two feet, two and a half, or, or two and a half, three and a half feet in certain areas. Um, but all in all, the winch did its job. The yank strap did the uh, remainder coming up the hill. And the dirt tracks performed flawlessly. I mean, I got nothing but good things to say about this, except for my wet, cold feet, because, well, I didn't think it was gonna be that difficult to get it out, but what I wasn't thinking is he has no power. So it was a matter of us just digging and yanking, really, and, uh, Ultimately, she came out. Right, in case you're wondering where he is, uh, he decided he was gonna coast down the hill uh, rather than me pulling him the whole way and then I'll pull him on the uphill parts. And clearly, he's comfortable going faster than I am. Holy cow. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I guess he just wants to get it down to the bottom, so. Yeah, yeah. if you're wondering uh, what we're doing now, he's uh, coasting down in front of me, as you can see there, and um, I'll pull them on the flat bits 
rather than me setting the pace downhill, he can set the pace downhill. So I think we might have to hook up here pretty quick. But my gosh, that sun is getting great. We got him out. As you can see, it is dark. It is late. Uh, we had to wait for the tow truck because he can't drive it because so much stuff got destroyed when the fan clutch exploded. So after looking at it, it doesn't actually look like the belt broke and then caused damage. It looks like the fan clutch broke, which in turn threw the belt and then caused a, a very large amount of damage. But um, nonetheless, he's out. He's happy. Everybody's, uh, they're back home. I, I got him to throw all his gear out of his truck into the back of my truck and I dropped it off at his house rather than it sitting down at the dealership with all his uh, outdoor gear and skis and all that stuff having it at risk over there it just made sense to throw it in the truck because turns out we live literally two blocks away which is kind of hilarious but um, yeah I'm uh, on my way to Dairy Queen to get some chicken strips and I am going to go home and start editing this video. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next one.